Hi, thought I'd jump on here for a few. I've been promising to do, to make my uh, healthy candy. Um, so I thought I'd do that today before I had to head out to town. I have a little bit of business, a little bit of fun. So, invite some people, early birds, adjust my camera. I know last time I had trouble um, showing my work. And uh, meanwhile, trying to get to be able to read the chat. This might work. Let me see a little bit anyway. Anyone out there? Anyone up? So we'll give it a few minutes. Hello. Yeah, we're, I'm going to try to make my healthy candy today. Get the stuff set up. Pretty early. I know. Be right back. And do we have anyone up early this morning? Hello. Do we have any anybody any early birds? Okay. Now what I might do is just to go ahead and make the video and upload it. Oh, there we are. Barbara wrote, well, good morning to you. Is it early where you're at? It's 628 here. Aha. M.T. Cole Forge. Yeah. Yes, yeah, 629 here. Well, how are you, M.T.? You know, the things I do aren't near as dangerous as what I watched you do. And I still managed to get injured. <laughs> I'm going to make some healthy candy today. I'm going to try to. You're doing good? That's great.
Well, Barbara, I don't know that I recognize you. Uh, of course, my memory is not all that great. Um, how did you find me? I was just wondering, and I, I apologize if uh, if I should know your name. Yeah, I think it's really cool, MT. I never thought of that angle about what you do. But I imagine you can, it, it's probably a very creative, uh, uh, I don't know, is it a hobby or do you, uh, are you fortunate enough to make money? I'm sure you'd make money on it because there's not that many people that do uh, forging and metalworking and So anyway, I'm going to start my candy. Now, I try, well, Barbara, welcome. I'm not sure either, but I would love it if you'd take the time to uh, subscribe. Uh, I'm into healthy things here. Um, and I try to do it painlessly. And a lot of times I encourage people to just add a few healthy things. And uh, instead of thinking, well, I got to deprive myself. And uh, one of the things that, uh, that I have here is uh, the cacao powder. I want to show it to you. Uh, hi, Ginger. You haven't missed anything yet. I'm just started, getting started. Well, this is the cocoa bean before it's been processed. And so it still has all the goodness in it that you would want. Um, you know, the enzymes and antioxidant properties. And uh, that's why they say chocolate. It is good for you. And so this is uh, chocolate before, well, before it's the chocolate that you know. And of course, this is... Uh, organic and uh, well, let's see and then it starts out with uh, coconut milk uh, organic and like uh, I, I, I said before uh, don't get too crazy if organic's hard to find but this is a very simple candy and uh, my hubby has a sweet tooth but he also has excellent health so you know, Allie Oakley, good morning. We're making my healthy candy. Well, my hubby's healthy candy. So what I usually do is I take the uh, coconut milk and um, hmm, there's usually junk in the bottom. There's not in this one. And I pour a half a, half a can of that. And, of course, I did wrong. Should have put my cocoa in there because now it's going to be a, a real booger to get it uh, to get it mixed up, to get the clumps out. See, I could have put this in the, in the bowl first and um, got out all the clumps. So now I might have to get the old mixer out. But as you see, I don't measure. Uh, I measure only if it's important. And this here, see, that's a tablespoon, see? That's my kind of tablespoon. A heaping. And, and what? It's, it's chocolate, of course. I usually put three or four of these. And if you think I'm being stingy, with the chocolate I had, uh, milk chocolate also, the little morsels. Okay, so we have that in. And now we're going to see if, uh, yeah, I screwed up, but it's all good. I'll just chat with you while I'm 
get my lumps out. Yeah, if I'd have put the powder in first, I wouldn't have had all this mess because it goes on. And real fast, it mixes up real fast. But that's all right. You expect to do a little bit of work with something this good. Now, if you guys would help me with the chat, because uh, I can't do that and I can't chew gum and walk. <laughs> yeah, uh, Allie, not only is it healthy, but, you know, it's an energy thing. And uh, I was just discussing how being healthy a lot of times is just adding healthy things and, and uh, not necessarily, you know, giving up stuff. Because the minute you start mentioning giving up, that's when uh, it gets to be a chore. And, you know, life's not all about that. Life's about... Having good things, don't you think? Joyce, good morning. How are you? I'm hard at work this morning, or hardly working, one of them. Okay, I just put uh, three tablespoons of the cacao powder, and uh, the cacao powder being um, the cocoa bean before it's been processed, and it still has... Uh, health benefits in it, the enzymes and antioxidants. So, it might be hard to find. You might have to order it online. I did. So, and then I put a half a can of organic uh, coconut milk. And that's to start with. Okay, and then I'm trying to get the lumps. And the lumps I would not have even had had I put the powder in first. But if there's a way of screwing something up, I'll find it. Joyce, I'm going to ask you to keep an eye on the chat when I get busy because I can't see it real well. Is that okay? Oh, you're taking, well, okay. Taking care of your birds. Can I list the ingredients afterwards? Um, Allie, yes. Uh, I, I will uh, mention them. <coughs> uh, and maybe try to find a way to uh, put them on later. Yes. Because it's really very simple. It's... Uh, I lost my measuring cup. Okay, it's, uh, you have your oatmeal. Now, you know, you can get organic oatmeal. I saw it all, all these really cheap. And I buy the quick cooking, um, the quick cooking kind. But if, um, that just means it's a little bit smaller. But you can always grind it up, which I grind it up anyway. So, and... So it's just your uh, simple uh, oatmeal, coconut uh, candy, which, uh, you know, it takes nothing to make. Uh, the trick to this is just getting it the right consistency. So, and that's not a problem. So the, uh, the oatmeal and the uh, coconut, which I have here. Uh, I have the shredded coconut 
uh, organic, but you know, any coconut will do. And if it's too large, shred it in your food processor. I won't have to, this one. And then I add more chocolate morsels and a little dab of uh, uh, vanilla extract. And that's it. It's simple. And you want to make sure it's just sweet enough to, uh, you can either put honey um, or sugar. Powder, I use powdered sugar. Because, like I said, hubby, he has no health problems. So, well, hi, June. All right, Joyce. I understand. Uh, yeah, it, it's so simple. You just uh, keep working it until you get the, uh, so I got one cup in there, and I'm pretty sure it's going to take two, but I'll put a short cup because, you know what, I'm going to wait and put my coconut in. No, I'm not. How you like the way I cook, huh? I'm going to do this. No, I'm not. Uh, you, you really can't mess this up. Because it, it comes together so nice. And you always have coconut milk. But if it's too dry. I see I screwed that up. I should, I should have been using my spoon to mix. After I got the... Come out here. Okay. Later. I guess I'll call this do as I say and not as I do kind of cooking. <laughs> okay. Then you put your coconut and your chocolate and you're done it's better if it sits in the fridge now you can um, take your fingers and and uh, your hands rather and, and make balls out of them but I'm a little bit too lazy for that unless unless I'm having company of course I would do it but uh, uh, Hobby and I, we like getting spoons full of it, and, uh, uh, you know, just getting a little bowl. But you, you I, I guarantee you'll like it. See what I mean about you can't screw it up? Uh, if it's not moist enough, just, and, and I have yet to make it the same way twice. So, it's not right, rocket science, but it's really good. And it seems to uh, be like an energy bar, too. There you go. You can even get the uh, organic... Um, chocolate bits and uh, and you know what you can grind grind them or not these here don't do not need to be ground they're kind of soft the regular milk chocolate and there again they're not even uh, organic so I don't go nuts if it's if I don't have organic, so I have that mostly. I usually use a half a bag. But I seem to be making a smaller amount. I, I can't figure out why, but it is what it is. There you go. That looks. Uh, it's looking up. Let me put my vanilla in before I forget. Tablespoon.
Yeah, the hubby begs for this. And you know, there's not any chemicals and yeah, that looks real good. Okay, so that looks like, oh, no, that won't work. There's no sugar in it. Uh, he will not. That that will taste like a, like one of those energy bars without the sugar. You, you know, the real rough tasting. You put a little powdered sugar in there or a lot, whatever. Yeah, I knew that was too easy. <laughs> yeah, I guess you figured it out. I cannot walk and talk at the same time, so can't chew gum and walk. Can't do anything like that. But we have it done. You just want to stir it till you get like the dry ingredients to where they don't look dry. And you want to get rid of the, uh, the whiteness of the sugar. And and then you want to refrigerate it. And, uh, uh, you know, you can eat it at any time. But, uh, hey, why not? I'm pretty sure you would all like this. So... I'm going to let that sit a minute and chat. Um, well, thank you, June, for sharing this. June shared it on Facebook. Okay, Allie. Uh, I have a blessed day also. And I will try to put this uh, uh, the ingredients up. Bear with me. I'm new at, at uh, having a channel. I'm sorry I didn't see you come in, Kingdom Paul, Kingdom Paul. Uh, I was busy making my candy. And if you have any questions. Yeah, you know, uh, if you wanted to add raisins, you could. Um, I imagine there. I imagine everybody has made uh, a similar. It's so simple, you know, oatmeal and uh, coconut. But you know, with the this here, okay, if you buy this, you can put this in your smoothies, the cacao powder. And now it's a really big health. Uh, when they say chocolate is healthy, they're not kidding. You know, it's it's chock full of, uh, like I said, the enzymes. Let me read a little bit on here. Yeah, it says renowned, you know, revered by ancient cultures as the food of the gods, the cacao bean, and now celebrated for its wealth of nutrients. And by cold pressing butter from freshly cracked cacao beans and cold milling it into a powder, the cacao retains its nutritional value. That's what I thought. So, you know, it's a big health hit. So we want all that we can get. And the coconut milk and, of course, the oatmeal. I don't see a whole lot wrong with it. Well, hi, Native Grammy. How are you today? I have a few things in town I have to do today. I think uh, I think my uh, uh, plates on my 
uh, vehicle runs out probably what tomorrow I don't know if it's if it's uh, November or December because when we bought it, it it didn't come due on our birthday I don't know why they put a year and a half on it or something so it's easy to forget something like that Well, while I have a few people here, I'd like to also discuss, uh, you know, the other day we were talking about salt and about how you're uh, much better off getting either uh, the pink Himalayan salt or sea salt with iodine or gray salt, all the salts that have all the uh, minerals in them. Well, and your table salt has been stripped. The plain table salt has been stripped of its nutrients. And that is just like our uh, soil. Um, when you grow your food, you know, and even the cattle, if, uh, if you haven't been a good steward of the, soul, of the soil, then, you know, in other words, if you've not put back in what you've taken out, if you just grow things, grow things, grow things, your soil becomes depleted. So, you know, our ancestors were pretty smart. They would take their, uh, their uh, wood ashes from their fireplaces and sprinkle it on. So you, on the gardens. And so you figure, yeah, that, um, you know, that tree, the roots are going down and down and down, picking up more nutrients out of the soil in the tree. And maybe if it's a fruit or a nut tree, or if it's just an oak tree or maple tree, or anyway, you're burning it. So only thing you have to be careful about is put it on lightly because it could change the uh, pH of the soil. And... You know, you could always check that and yeah. But they were a pretty smart bunch. I guess that's how they survived. So that's my big spiel of the day. Trying to stay healthy a little at a time without getting too crazy about it. So, Pump J, how are you, Pump J? I'm trying to get caught up on the on the chat. I'm glad to see you too, June. It's always nice. Yeah, I've made some new friends. And then I have my old friends. And I love them all. Want to see my t-shirt? It's backwards, I know. And I don't know. I think you can fix that. But it's Jesus. Heals all. Yeah. Huh? We can get an amen on that, can't we? Yep. So, on that note, uh, oh, if you haven't entered my drawing, you still have time all through today. Um, uh, it's, um, you just enter and you nominate a person of excellence. I don't have to have their name. You can say the girl down the street, someone that goes out of their way to do for others. So you can just email me 
at grapevines, G-R-A-P-E-V-I-N-E-S, 007 at gmail.com. And you have uh, till today, I mean through today, and Saturday I'll be doing the drawing. And uh, I'll probably go live doing that. That'd be a lot of fun. I don't know what time yet. But uh, anyway, the drawing is for a $25 uh, gift certificate of your choice um, and a $25 gift certificate for the person you nominate. So it's a total of $50. And I can, if the person doesn't live close to you, just uh, give me, send me the address and I will mail it to them. And uh, I'll mail you yours to you. Now, um, I have to tell you that, well, YouTube wants me to tell you that um, they are in no way responsible, liable, or anything uh, for the contest. And also the information that I would be getting from you, I have to disclose what I will do with it. So uh, the only information I'll be receiving is your name and your email address, because I will need that to contact you. After the drawing, uh, I will delete it. Unless I had the, uh, the uh, this information before the contest, which a lot of you on here are my friends that sent me your information anyway. So anyway, I'm looking forward to you. Go ahead and enter. You have a very good chance of winning. I don't have a whole lot. Uh, of entries. So that just means you have a bigger chance. I'm going to get off of here now. And you're having a good day, Punk Jay. Why don't you enter my contest, uh, my drawing? It's Saturday. You have all day today to do it. Hi, Eagle Eye. Oh, thank you for stopping in. So, I don't care if, oh, you do have to be a, a subscriber of mine. However, the person that you nominate does not have to be. So, please enter my drawing. And even if you just uh, subscribe to me today, go ahead and enter. That is grapevines007 at gmail.com. All you have to do is say, hey, I nominate so-and-so. I nominate my grandma. I don't have to have their name. Hi, Carla. Ah, oh, thank you for stopping in, Carla. I see you guys are not going to let me go. You keep popping in. And that's fine. Um, you might have to, when I upload this, hi, Chris Powell. Um, I just made my healthy candy. You might want to um, watch it when I upload it at the beginning. I don't know. Do you guys that watch that? Do you think you think you'll make it? It's very simple. That's a favorite of my husband's, and I just finished making it. it. Took me, even though I screwed it up. Okay, I'm gonna show it. Yeah. Thank you, June. 
grapevines007 at gmail.com. Yeah. And, you know, the disclaimers I already gave was that uh, I'm not going to keep any of your information as soon as the uh, uh, drawing is over. I'm going to delete them all. And the only information I'm going to have is your email address and your name. So, Hey, take care, evil, Eagle Eye. Don't forget to uh, enter the contest today. Well, thank you, Carla. You're sweet. Cliff and Chris, the whole gang's here. Joyce was here earlier. She had to go. She was, I think this is Joyce's uh, busy time. So what do I have coming up? Um, I know I have some more Instapot things because I, a recipes because I'm always I'm usually rocking that Instapot. <laughs> hey, it's the best thing. You know, you don't have to heat the house up. You don't have to wait all day to eat. Pop it in there and you're, we're done. Boy, time Time just flies when you get on here and you're uh, talking to your friends. So I'm going to give you all a sweet, uh, not a goodbye, but a sweet, I'll see you later. I got to pop into town. I have business to do. Uh, several, several things. And uh, I shall, I'm sure I'll, I'll be running into you later and in, in uh, chat. And thank you very much, each and every one of you, for coming to support me. I know it's early in the morning. Thank you, June. And you. You, you be safe and have a very good day. Great street. Ah, MT, thank you. You guys are much too kind. You, you're, you're a sweet bunch. I get the good ones. Take care. Bye now. If you make the candy, let me know. Y'all have my email here, grapevines007 at gmail.com. Okay, I'm going to pray that you all have a lovely, healthy day. A blessed day. Bye now. <laughs>